From my point of view, the really interesting thing about the conference is it brings together two different approaches to thinking about the effects of the tax bill. The approach from the accounting side, looking at uh, how individual companies are going to change their financial reporting, change their actual behavior in response to the bill with then kind of an economic point of view and, and for myself, a macroeconomic point of view, how is it going to affect the economy as a whole? I think this conference is unique. You know, there's been a lot of attention on uh, the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act from an economic perspective, but we really haven't seen much tying in the financial reporting and the accounting side of things. So marrying those two concepts uh, which work tandem in the marketplace is, is very uh, interesting to me. How you actually, you know, fill out the form matters, right? When it, it's easy to talk sort of big picture and abstract, and this is how things should work to promote efficiency. It's a whole other thing to have to actually do it. We talk about taxes, we talk about tax policy, we talk lots and lots about investment, but the reality is, is we have corporations that ultimately have to pay their taxes, but they also have to provide information to the users of the financial statements, their investors, about what this tax bill means for them. Okay, so are we more or less likely to build our factories offshore as a result of this bill? So on the one hand, we have Keynesian economics, demand side economics. This is a large tax cut, a lot of cash flowing into the economy, it's stimulating demand. Consumers have more money to spend, businesses have more money to invest. Unfortunately, this is at the point in the business cycle when you don't want that. You would want to do that during a recession. Right now, we were already peaking. What the bill was intended to do, on the other hand, was to have a supply side effect in the long run. So by lowering your taxes, you're going to work more. By lowering business taxes, uh, they're going to invest more. And so that would increase long-term economic growth. The problem is that the time frame is pretty long. You know, five to 10 years, say, is, is where you'd really want to look. But after five to 10 years, a whole lot of other things will have happened to the economy. Uh, the tax code itself probably will have changed in that amount of time. So we can look at short-term versus long-term. And so the short-term effects is, I think, what we can potentially measure. But that wasn't the point of the act. The act was this long-term investment. And I think that's on an almost impossible question to answer because everything else is changing in the background, nothing else stays flat. And I think all we can say is, yes, it has a positive effect. But I think to quantify that is an enormously difficult question and I, I would be hesitant to ever rely on any number that would come out of a study along that line. Yeah, I think most companies right now are grappling with just trying to understand what the law says and just take that to their, their existing operations and understand how to comply with that law as best they can. You know, corporate America has received a windfall of sorts and it's how they're going to provide capital to future investment and growth opportunities, return capital to shareholders either via dividends or buybacks and how they balance those different competing priorities. I just think the level of uncertainty is, is quite remarkable. As much as the footprints of the bill may have dated back uh, several years, the specifics uh, particularly uh, you know on, on the international side and with some of these uh, complicated business provisions you know were really conceived uh, last fall and, and are now the law of the land and I think what you're seeing is after the law is in place uh, people trying to figure out exactly what it says. We have the board game but we haven't finalized the rules so you can infer how it's going to work but you can't actually look specifically what happens if we both land on the same space. I think there's consensus that it's too early to tell and there's still a lot that we don't know about uh, the, the tax bill and how it will play out, uh, but that makes it even more important to, to, to have these type of events. This bill, like no other tax bill we've ever had, is so uncertain and what we're learning is this is exactly the right thing to do. We, we need to have lots of communication. I think economists, accountants, Investors often work in their own silos, and it's rare that you bring these different constituents together to tackle such a prominent topic in the marketplace. We're just delighted to partner with the Tax Policy Center. It's exactly in line with the, the goals of the UNC Tax Center, which is to promote cross-disciplinary research and get accountants and economists and people from finance and academics and policy and practice to get together to share ideas on tax research and tax policy. So we're just delighted to be co-hosting this conference.